So, um, today I'm going to be having a story time or a rant. I haven't decided what I want to call it. Yes, I'm yelling, I'm trying to stay calm, but I'm getting fairly angry thinking about some of this stuff. The title of this video is, He Killed Baby Birds. That is true. What I am going to talk about in this rant slash story time is true. Now, if you don't remember, I recently made a video about, um, how a house I used to live in was haunted. And the stuff that I'm talking about is stuff that happened in that house, or I should say, in the neighborhood. I'm not going to give names, I'm not going to give addresses, because I'm that's not okay. I, I'm pretty sure that's illegal. So, let's start talking about the baby birds first, because this is the biggest part of this story. So, in that house, we had some neighbors. They were older people, so... I don't know, like, I'm sure that they had reasons for some of the things that they did. But we had a bird's nest up in our gutter, like, probably 12, 15 feet in the air. Sorry if I'm being really loud. But we had a bird's nest 10, 12, 15 feet up in the air in our gutter. And if we looked out one of our windows, we could see it. And we could see these little baby birds, and they were so cute. And we saw the parents come and bring them food. And they came back year after year. We lived in that house for many years, and this continued to happen. It basically stopped happening when the neighbor that I am talking about got annoyed by baby birds squeaking, tweeting, whatever you want to call it, for food. He got so annoyed with that that he knocked them out of the gutter, killing them. If you don't know this, if a bird's nest is touched... The parents usually don't come back, and they ditch their babies. Not only were these babies killed when they hit the ground, if they were still alive, the parents wouldn't have done anything for them. So he killed about three baby birds, I think it was. Now, another thing that happened was, if, if you're a dog owner, you know the dogs bark, and this neighbor also had a dog. His dog barked. I don't recall him picking up his dog poop always around his house. We picked up our dog poop. Our dogs did bark more than his because we had bigger dogs and we have two of them. He had one. He would constantly complain about our dogs when there was still stuff that his dog was doing. Another thing is we had a tree in our backyard. It was a beautiful, it, I mean, it, it's, it's still there at the house, I think. I think it's like an oak tree. The tree overhung into his yard a little bit, not even that far. Do you want to know what he wanted? He wanted to have that tree cut down, which not only was that tree fairly close to houses, so it could have possibly taken out a window or a rooftop, but he wanted us to pay for it. So our tree that's in our yard that does not break any laws or rules in where we lived, he wanted us to pay to have it cut down. Now, we didn't even want it cut down, but we said, fine, how much you pay for it, or at least half of the cost. He refused. That tree is still standing, and I am happy about that. There's one other thing, but when I get angry, I forget things, so I typed up the four main points that I wanted to talk about. Okay, so bef I, the last thing that I'm going to... Oh, my voice cracked there. The last thing I'm going to talk about is a garden. So before we lived there, we've heard stories that the neighbors had built a garden that went into what was our yard now, and the previous owners were building a shed. And they, they like, wanted the garden gone, but the people did not want the garden there, and they completely... Wait, it, it was either that the garden, like, we had the garden, or the previous owners had the garden, and then those people tried to get rid of the garden to build in our yard, or they had a garden and we had to get rid of it so we could build our shed. But either way, they were invading our privacy, our property, actually not ours, the previous owners. And that's just not okay. I got really angry in this video. I'm sorry if I was yelling too much. But that, there's just so much, like, I don't understand how someone can kill baby birds for tweeting. That makes no sense. I don't know what was going through his mind when he got a stick. That must have been a lot of work for him, too, if he was older. If he got a stick and went up there and knocked a bird's nest 12 to 15 feet out of the air, landing on the ground with the birds inside of the nest. That, it's, that still makes me mad, and that happened years ago, and I had forgotten about it, and I was just thinking about it today, and I'm like, 
I'm gonna film a video about this. So, I hope that you enjoyed me ranting. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm just gonna end this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and comment if there's anything else you want me to rant on. So, I'll see you later. Peace. <laughs>